Hi, this is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today we're going to do some beer can chicken, or as my wife likes to call it, beer butt chicken, in my Masterbuilt Gravity Series 1050. Now, uh, I've already done all the chicken prep, so you can see him here, and I've already preheated the smoker, and it's a little hot right now because I preheated it up to 425, and then I turned it down to the actual cooking temperature at 225. But we're going to have to raise it up a little bit because we don't have time to go at 225 the entire time. So it'll be more like a baking temperature that we're going to actually run it at. But we'll start it there, put the temperature gauge in a little while, and then we'll go from there. So if you can see the chicken here, the first thing that I did was I took the chicken and I cleaned him up and then I dried him off. Then I uh, put the dry rub, which I mixed from the dry rib mix that's linked in the article below. So there's a uh, smoker chicken article that um, has some really nice recipes and includes some dry rub mixes. And uh, that's what I used on this. And uh, don't be scared to put extra paprika in it because smoked paprika is my favorite in the world, by the way. And so I rubbed the inside of the chicken after it was dry, completely filled in the gaps. And then I put some butter on the outside and then rubbed the outside. Uh, I try not to get any water in there. There's a little bit of water in the butter, but it'll evaporate real fast, and then the butter will give it a nice crispy skin. And all that you can see here, um, and um, in the pictures, you'll see here that I've got dry rub all over on the outside of the chicken. And uh, then I filled the can, and I didn't use the can that I got. I, I got a large can, but I uh, filled the can a little more than half full. So in between a half and three quarter, um, you just don't want it to run out too early, but you don't want it full either because you want the thing to have some space in there to generate some steam so it helps uh, steam the chicken from the inside. So now we're going to go ahead and take this and open it up. If you see here, I've removed the middle section of racks because we need a little bit taller. I would do that for a whole turkey or for a ham or something like that. And I just stack them on top here and leave them inside. There's no reason to take them out. It's not going to hurt them being up there. and. Uh, I think that basically it's a, a good way to actually keep them clean by letting them stay in a warm smoker. So anyway, I've already inserted the can, so I'm just going to go ahead and set the chicken on here. And uh, it's a little dicey, so if this doesn't work out for you, I recommend that what you do is you use like a cooling rack for your uh, baking trays. If you set a cooling rack on here, obviously uh, food cooling racks are usually food safe. Then you can set it on here, it'll give you a nice surface to set the chicken down on. But uh, it worked out perfect on the first try. Sometimes you have to play with it to get it to stand up. But uh, he's sitting there perfectly and uh, it's ready to go. Like I said before, I'm not going to put the thermometer in right now. But when I do, I will try to get it into a thick spot right in here in the thigh where it's going to be uh, get a good deep temperature reading. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let her go, and it's going to be a few hours. I will, like I said, I'll probably be running it at about 275. So after it cools down a little bit, I'll set the temperature back up to my cooking temperature, and then go a couple hours, and then we'll take another look. So I'll see you then. All right, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to insert the thermometer now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead, and I don't know if you can, yeah, it looks like you can see this, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into one of the holes there. And here it is. So it's already threaded through. I've learned that it's best if you just go ahead and leave it threaded through as long as it's clean and then there's no problem. So now I'm going to take a spot here that I like and it's going to be right down in there. It's a pretty relatively thick spot and right up next to the thigh bone. And that will give us a real good idea. So here's the thing, if you put it directly against the bone, it'll mess up your temperature because what you really want to be is right next to the bone in the thickest spot so that way you get a good temperature reading. For some reason, if you cut it against the bone, the bone I think conducts heat and then you think it's done and you take it in the house and it's bleeding and that's never good. So something else that I forgot to do um, in the last scene was I forgot to put the potato in the top. So it doesn't matter whether it's a potato, it could be something like a small glass or whatever, but you need to plug the hole in the top, otherwise the steam from the beer will escape. 
So you jam that potato in there and get it in as tight as you can. If you want to, you can actually trim the potato a little bit like a wedge and it'll go in there a little tighter. I just use the smallest potato in the bag and uh, clean it, put a hole in the potato like you would if you were baking it, and stab that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. So it dropped down in temperature a lot, but it'll come right back up. I'm going to take a look in here while, while I'm on the camera, so I'm just going to pop that. And It's hard to see in here because of the smoke, but so sometimes you just go like that, and it's full to right there. So if you look there, it's up to about here right now. So we've got plenty of charcoal in there, and it's burning along really good. I like the amount of smoke. I did put a bunch of hickory in there, so because I'm using just uh, regular kings for charcoal. Um, sometimes I use the um, mixed charcoal that has uh, wood chips crushed into it. But today I added in the um, Weber hickory chunks, and I just buy this stuff on Amazon. And then, uh, and my affiliate link is below if you want to pick up some yourself. I buy this. Um, my favorite by far is the pecan. I'm not using pecan with this chicken, but uh, I really like to use the pecan with different things. And it just, uh, we don't have pecan locally, uh, so to get, you have to get it from a, you know, like a barbecue shop or something like that. But uh, it's really easy just to buy this and just use a few chunks. And then what I'm using, flavor, and I held onto this bag right here, but this, the mesquite uh, stuff, I would use this just straight up without adding wood to it and you get really good flavor results. Uh, and you can pick that up with the link below or you can pick it up at any local store. All right, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let it go back. It's back up at full temperature. It only takes a minute once you close the lid for that thing to get going. and. Uh, temperature on the inside of the chicken is 145 where I put the thermometer so we're coming along really nice so I'm gonna say that that's probably about another 30 35 minutes to get all the way up there it's about um, well about uh, one maybe uh, half a degree per minute so um, should be pretty close to that so anyway all right so we'll check back then all right, so we got the internal temperature that we were looking for, and then I turned it up on high because I just wanted to crisp the outside up, and it went up right away, and uh, it started to flame up a little bit. So let's take a look here. And she is going good, look at that. So rather than leave it on there and burn, I'm just gonna go ahead and tip it on into the plate here. Okay, I thought I was gonna. still quite a bit of beer left in there and uh, if it wasn't burning I would have just picked it up and set it over there without pulling the beer off that beer off really quick and then uh, it's a little charred on the back side there but the breast itself is in really good shape and so it's just right down the backbone that it's got a little burn on it but 
just kind of see if we can get that there. It does have a little bit of smell of beer to it, but I think most of that is from the beer that I spilled out there. Um, but uh, it looks really good, just the right consistency. And uh, after I cut it up, um, well, this is what the what it looks like there from the inside. So uh, worked out pretty well. So as always, links to the article with all of the recipes are down below in the description and also to the link to the main website. And I am an affiliate, so if you do use any of my links, I will get a commission. Um, but uh, check out the um, rub. It's really simple and basic. And uh, I'm actually going to sneak a little piece right off of the edge here because uh, that does have the spice on it. And that was just a little piece of the skin that had some spice on it, and it was really good. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.